Hi guys, in this video, I wanna talk about a short but insightful concept that I took from Chris Bishop's book, Neural Network for Pattern Recognition. And this is the symmetries that we have in weight space. So looking back at our neural network example and focusing on a single node, yeah, focusing only on this node, suppose this node has a tan h activation function. And what is a tan h? It's just another type of activation function. Instead of going from zero to one like the sigmoid, it goes from minus one to one. And it's also an odd function. What it means is that tan of minus x, suppose, suppose I'm taking x to be one, so tan of minus one is this value over here, let's say minus 0 0.8 more or less, then it's equal to the tan of one, which is 0 0.8 or more or less, only minus, so it's equal to minus 0 0.8. Yeah, this is what an odd function means. And now suppose I change the sign of all the weights and also the bias going into the node. Okay, so let's say I had some B1, W1, W2. Yeah, and instead of taking them, I will take minus B1, minus W1, minus W2. So what I will get is instead of Z1, I will get minus Z1. What can I do if I have the tan H function? Well, what I could do is simply change the weights of everything that goes out of this node. Okay, so if before I had this, I don't know, W3, W4, and W5, let's just add a minus to them and we will get that nothing changed. Yeah, so before we had that this node over here got Z1 times W3, now it's getting minus Z1 times minus W3, but this is equal to Z1 times W3. And the same will happen to this node over here and to this node over here, okay? So this is a symmetry. This is what I mean by symmetry. For each node, uh, we have two different set of weights that can produce exactly the same network, yeah? Either B1, W1, W2, and W3, W4, W5, or minus B1, minus W1, minus W2, and minus W3, minus W4, and minus W5. So th there's two, and that's two pair each node in this layer of hidden units. So there's two times two times two. In this case, there's eight. If we had M number of hidden units here, we'll have two to the power of M, okay? And this is just for one layer. Again, this happened because we used the tan H symmetry. There's also symmetries caused by other activation function. Another example of symmetry is the permutation symmetry. So suppose uh, I'm taking this node and I'm taking all the weights that led to it and I'm just moving them to this node over here. So this was B1, W1, W2. And now I'm saying this is B1, W1, W2. I'm taking their values and I'm just putting them all to this. And uh, instead I'm taking, let's say all the weights that came here and I'm moving them here. Yeah, so all the weights that came here are now pointing here. So if we do this for all the weights that go into the node, but we also do this to all the weights that go out of the node. So we also move W3, W4, and W5 from here to here, and also move this up yes, to these. Then what happened, again, we're getting exactly the same result. The function doesn't change. So, so if we permute the nodes, with their respective in and out weights, the function stays the same. And you can try it yourself. You will get that you actually got the same thing. So for three nodes in this hidden layer, we have three factorial ways of permuting the different weights. And overall, we would have three factorial times two to the power of three. And let's say we have L layers with different number of nodes written as M1 till ML. And the layers here, I'm referring to the hidden units layers, then we would have this amount of uh, symmetries for the first layer times this amount of symmetries for the second layers, et cetera, et cetera, until this amount of symmetries for the final layer. Overall, we would have this amount of symmetries. And what it means, it, it means that if we have an optimal solution, there's also uh, this amount minus one other optimal solutions. And if we are stuck in a local minima, there's also this number of other local minimas that are symmetric uh, to our local minima. What can you do about it? Well, not much. It's just a uh, quality of these neural networks. 
But I thought it was interesting and I hope it gives you an extra insight into the nature of neural networks. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and I see you in the next one.